hey guys what's up and welcome in and welcome back my beautiful light babies how are you guys doing i know there is a lot going on this week for you know energy wise there's a lot going on within the signs because we have a solar eclipse in taurus a partial solar eclipse in taurus that will be coming in fully within the next few hours or so so the energies are really high right now um, with eclipses for more sensitive people you know you can feel it a week before and a week after it just really depends on how sensitive you are okay um so some of you guys really need to make sure that you take some time out to kind of slow down within these next few days try to you know implement some sort of relaxation time within these next few days or so to kind of just balance out your energy um, make sure you're attending to your needs of your body your spirit also because you know eclipses brings intense energies um for some people you know you might feel intense highs for some people you're gonna feel like intense lows okay you know it really just depends on a placement in your chart where you know the eclipse is hitting at that time another way to really see um how this eclipse will affect you is to head over to my website and check out your monthly horoscope for april or if you want to know your horoscope for may those are already up too I stopped uploading the horoscopes and energy updates on YouTube, but I do still do them. They're just now, you know, directly on my website, okay? Um, on my website, you can get your monthly horoscope, including significant dates that are tailored to your sign, plus, you know, your best days and your most stressful days for that month, okay, you guys? So the information for that, for my website, will be located down in the description box below. You can click on that link there and it will take you to my website. All right, you guys, I am super excited to do this reading today. We're, I'm going to try to just jump in. <laughs> um, no long talking. We're going to be doing a pick a card reading on who secretly misses you and why okay the timestamps for your specific pile will be located in a description box down below my loves please remember that this is a general reading and it will not resonate with everyone so please only take what resonates with you and leave the rest so you guys for this reading we have the breakup oracle deck we have the love triangle deck and then we have the messengers of the heart if you want to go ahead and pick by sticker, we have the breakup um, oracle with the eye, the love triangle oracle with the love potion bottle, and then we have the messengers of the heart with the heart, of course, okay? So you guys, go ahead, take a second, um, meditate on your pile, and then we are going to go ahead and get started, okay? welcome in my beautiful pile number one all right you guys were a broke up oracle and you were the all right i couldn't think about it for a second oh my goodness all right you guys you guys have some interesting cards i did um try to go ahead and shuffle everything beforehand because you know shuffling takes up a lot of time so i was like I'm go ahead and cut down on that time shuffle and then bring out the reading okay you guys have an interesting reading okay interesting it's interesting 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 because i get more than one story from this so the first um the energy surrounding this reading is um gossip pushing buttons unchanged and forever changed okay with the gossip this is you know either their family one thing i do see is that you know maybe this person have a family member or family members that like to gossip about are your relationship and that has put a big strain on your relationship maybe there's a mother-in-law that you know um is always on her son's side whether they wrong or not and you know they walking around like yeah you know this person did so and so to my son you know probably making up stories things like that okay um another thing i do see with pushing buttons is i do anything to trigger you it's the only way i know you care so this person is a you know and this come it this comes off really narcissistically narcissistic 
<laughs> like it has a narcissistic vibe but um this is really giving off like that energy of you know posting on social media to trigger you or you know vice versa you could be doing this um you know to trigger this person to see if they really care but um i do see where it's kind of like you know right now maybe a back and forth or they used to be a back and forth in the you know past or that's coming up okay when i see the unchanged I am who I am, not who you want me to be. I don't understand why this keep going to the wrong thing. Okay, there we go. Um, you know, y'all know I love music. I have to get my music on 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 point before I <laughs> get into a reading. But anyways, um, unchanged. I am who I am, not who you want me to be. I'm going. I'm not going to change. So in the past, this person could have been, you know, one of those people that was very prideful. They didn't want to, you know, say, hey, you know, I really love you. I'm really down for you and show you the actions behind it okay so this person is just who they there's in the past they were telling you you know i am who i am there's no way you can change me and you know somebody that's not willing to change for their twin is going to have to learn their twin their soulmate whoever it is that they're dealing with they're gonna and i said twin because that's really what i got out of this situation okay i got really twin flame vibe um but they're pretty much saying you know like you know i I'm not going to change for you and they don't want to change for you but I do honestly with the rest of this reading see where that energy kind of dissipates because right after unchanged you have forever changed I cannot make it up right after unchanged you have forever changed and the forever changed is you changed my life without even trying the old me is dead and gone so that's why I said you know the unchanged energy really really wasn't there anymore by the time we get down to the bottom of the reading it's not it, it's something that he this person is transforming i just said he so you guys might be dealing with a male vice versa you know what i mean energy is fluent and we i don't care on this channel we are open to everyone okay um another thing that i am seeing is where a mother-in-law could have been put in stress on this relationship also but in more so of a jealous way more so of a you know like um maybe one of those mothers that hold on to their son i don't you know like they don't want their son be really truly being with somebody that maybe they don't approve of if that makes any sense and then i also see where um there's some sort of like an ex-girlfriend vibe here so um this person right now they're in solitude working on some crown chakra work okay and the way that they view you i only asked for two cards and this person threw out four the way they view you, pal number one, is as a sweetheart. There's something about your energy that just comes off so hypnotic to this person. I mean, like, it, and hypnotic came out. They see you as something that they cannot get enough of, okay? There's, and it's an intense energy. So when you and this person used to probably get together or when you, you, the, you and this person were, you know, breaking up, whatever was going on, they felt your energy exchange at a very intense level so you could be an energy healer you could be somebody who carries a lot of intuitive abilities you can you know whatever it is creative energy healing energy whatever it is this person feels it to the max they know like this person is strong as hell this person you know like they they be on they stuff like i feel like that's the type of energy you give off but at the same time whatever it is that you have going on is very alluring like they're like i want more but when they get it it's kind of like you feed them and then they're like oh i got all this energy let me go do what i gotta do not really understanding that the energy that they're carrying after seeing you is your energy you're there you're giving them fuel okay so i i'm saying that to say like you're just that hypnotic to this person your energy is intense and i do see kind of like where this person more so feeds off of you i know that doesn't have to be for everybody you know that could just be for some they're also seeing here that you're detaching from the situation so for some of you guys they do see where you're not paying as much attention to this situation as you used to before say for instance you you know every time this person calls you you used to like oh i gotta pick up the phone every time they text you like oh you know that's that's they i gotta text them back now you know like updates stuff like that you no longer do it okay it's kind of like i see when this person is calling you it's like oh you know i get that later you know what i'm saying so it, it depends on where you're at but they do see that you have a very loving energy you have a very loving side some of you guys i do see where you can be um 
I don't necessarily want to say strong, but strong is the word that I am getting. But, um, you know, you're very strong on the outside, but when you love somebody, you give off love as though, you know, this is all my love, let me give it to you. And it's kind of like what you did for this person. So you gave them a certain type of energy, and now that they're back into the street, they, they cannot get that energy back. They can't get that energy, replace that energy that you were giving them, okay? So this is also saying that you have very healing hands, you guys. And I didn't even <laughs> really notice this card until I just looked down. But you, you have the ability to heal, okay, and use universal energy. So that's, again, backing up what I was just saying. Some of you guys are just healing healers in general and you know maybe you, you slept with this person and whatever it is just being around your energy rubbing off was different to this person you fed this person a whole different vibe that they didn't understand okay you 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 fed this person <laughs> something they never experienced before so now it's kind of like they're looking at this saying what how, how did i fuck this up okay because that's how they feel about you and it's kind of like whoever they're with now or whatever is going on, it does not compare to you, okay? Because why are they missing you? The reason that this was all happening is because this person was juggling. For some of you guys, this person was always juggling either another life or, you know, maybe another family, their family, you know, where it's like they mother, they father, whoever's going on. For some of you guys, somebody could have been sick, like an elderly person on their side of the family could have been sick, so they was always taking care of them, plus whatever they had going on. But I do see See, this person was always juggling because we have the two of pentacles here always juggling as things that you know juggling life juggling money for some of you guys this person was trying to balance the things that they had going on but there was so much going on you could have met this person you know when they had a lot of things going on in their life and you know maybe you not to say added to it but you know you are added you added yourself to this person's life so now you know that's another thing if that makes any sense and I also do see that they you know for some of you guys because I have the magician here and truthfully the magician is giving me the vibe because it's the magician and temperance there's a few vibes I'm getting from this okay so the magician with the temperance I feel like they're trying to heal right now okay the way you see them right now currently is that they might be or you're feeling this energy where they're trying to come back they're missing you and they're pulling on your energy like hey come back hey come back hey come back so they're pulling on your energy and some of you guys are dealing with masculines that or masculines feminines that's doing you know spell work to try to draw you back into them because again i see it in a few different ways and i'm blood you know what i mean so this person could either be doing energy work to get you back or they're going to a reader or or they're genuinely trying to heal from energy work placed on them by X. You get what I'm saying? So there's a few variations here that this could come off as. Because in the middle, we have balance. We have balance. This person needs to balance everything out that they got going on. I mean, it's not focusing. Oh, no. This person has to introduce some sort of balance into their life. They have to have the courage to do it. For some of you guys, this person feels trapped. This person feels like the other person or whoever I tell, you know, whatever else they was dealing with, if they was dealing with another person, if they was dealing with another family, their family, however it goes, but they feel entrapped. They feel like the decision that they chose entrapped them and it really was not the best for them, okay? We have that the issue with this could have been something about a courthouse. For some of you guys, this person might not have wanted to um, leave, say for instance, their baby mama because their ex-girlfriend, they had kids and they didn't want to get put on child support, okay? For some of you guys, they were just dealing with a false person that tricked them into choosing them, if that makes sense. So this goes, again, a few different ways. And then we have the um, the embrace flexuality. So truthfully, right, when this person was choosing you know, whatever it else, well, whatever else it was, when they were choosing, you know, to deal with maybe, say for instance, y'all was, I'm just going to give a, a, a example, say for instance, you know, maybe you guys were supposed to go out and his baby mama start calling, starting drama and then everybody upset, then, you know, everything's ruined. This person didn't know how to balance stuff. You know what I'm saying? Because if I was going to dinner with you, why am I going to start answering her calls when I know she's messy? If that makes any sense whatsoever. So it's kind of like this person didn't have that balance. They didn't have any balance and 
when it came to the relationship, it was very topsy turvy. There was really never met, uh, never times where everything was just completely balanced. I feel like y'all gave more to this situation. And this person didn't really have that much energy and time that they invested as much as you did. Okay, so they could have invested their energy and time in other places and other people and you were the one that was supplying them with the energy you get what i'm saying so it's like what the fuck for some of you guys the grim reaper came around the corner okay and this is saying that the relationship is over for some of you guys you have found another soulmate you have found another twin flame because this person was not learning this person wasn't waking up and i feel like now that they waking up it's kind of like it's kind of too late you know Did, how are you waking up now and um i do see where you guys this person is going to become the chaser. Like, I'm not even going to lie. They're trying to see things from a different perspective. And for some of you guys, they just wasted precious time. The way they see you sexually is like, um, say for instance, this person slept around a lot because I do see where they kept a lot of different things a secret. Um, you know, their intuition was blocked. I feel like they were playing games kind of like, you know, messing with your head. Like maybe you would say, you know, I'm intuitive. I know that this is happening. I'm a healer. I can tell when somebody else's energy is on you or around you. And this person was like, nah, 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 you crazy. I feel like this person still kind of thinks that you're in the dark about certain things that they've done sexually with other people. But you, you know, I feel like you found out through the grapevine. You just know. So another thing that came up was... I never meant to hurt you now that you're gone. So this person really is feeling your absence. They are feeling the fact that you are pulling away and detaching, okay? This person says, give me my heart back. I know you don't care. But it's not even about not caring. How long have you waited for this person to wake up and care? How long have you waited before you decided to detach? Okay, that's the vibe that I got going on here. This is the truth is not too far behind. I would do it all over again. Uh, they will do it all over again, but I don't see y'all doing it all over again. Alrighty, thank you so much, pound number one, for tuning in with me. If you like this reading, go ahead and tune into some more readings or check in, check out other readings. Um, do not forget to go to the website and look up your horoscope. May's horoscopes are out, and last month's April, this month April's, it's out. Okay, so if you want to see how the um solar eclipse. Is affecting you you could go ahead and check that out on my website another thing is you guys if ain't nobody told you they love you today I love you okay <laughs> thank you so much for tuning in go ahead and comment like share and subscribe and I will see you guys next time bye Welcome in my pile number twos. You guys had the Love Triangle Oracle and the Love Potion bottle. So I just went through and now that I'm putting it together, you guys, the last card that came out was Love Potion. I kid you not. Okay, 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 okay. So I shuffled. That is what is before this. Um, if you want to watch the shuffling, it is fast forwarded because I did realize you guys, why I keep falling down? For some of you guys, a love potion is going to fall through if somebody, you know, drug somebody with some sort of love potion. It's not going to work. I, I don't know what's going on with that. But um, because that is what I'm seeing because it keeps falling over. Okay. And your last card was love potion. But um, I shuffled before because you guys, these readings get so long when I have to sit here and shuffle all these different decks. So I was like, let me try something new. I'm going to shuffle before so you guys could see, lay it out. But it is going to be fast forwarded, okay? Because I don't want it to take up as much time as it usually does. Make sense? Make it make sense? It makes sense. Okay. All right, you guys. So the energy surrounding y'all reading, okay, is... <sighs> you guys... But, I mean, what do I expect, right? Breakup Oracle, Love Triangle Oracle. Okay, never mind. But they juicy. Y'all stories juicy, okay? So, um, this person that is you're inquiring about for pile number two, okay? The, your person in this Love Triangle 
is trying to follow their heart. I see where in a point in time they were like, you know, you are, they see you as the nine of cups. Like their sexual feelings towards you is the nine of cups. Like you are a wish come true because this is sexual feelings. Okay. You are this person's wish come true. And that came out next to the emperor. But what I do see is that is the issue was this person wasn't an emperor enough to choose you. Okay. At first. Now hear me out. So I see where there was a point in time this person wanted to follow their heart, okay? And their heart was pointing at you. But because this was some sort of love triangle, whatever is going on, because we have the marriage card here too, and we have too late, okay? It, you, they feel like it's too late to fix things. For some of you guys, you feel like it's too late to fix things with this person because things took so, this person took so long to choose you. Um, if that makes sense, okay? Um, for some of you guys, this person felt pressured in making a decision to marrying someone else or, um, you know, building a home or a family with someone else. Um, you know, maybe they had got someone pregnant. Maybe they bought a house with somebody and kind of got stuck in that situation, okay? But right now, this person is spying on you. And they're spying on you in regret. Because that's how they see this situation. Ugh. That's how they see this situation. They're spying and they're in regret for losing you. For some of you guys, I feel like this is a love triangle just that, that just went completely wrong, that went completely left. Because this person is checking your online accounts. They're jealous. For some of you guys, you're dealing with a very jealous and envious person, okay? Um, they're digging for any type of info that they can get on you. Um, but I do see where they do feel deep regret, okay? But even if they're not showing it in their actions or, you know, posting it or... It's, for some of you guys, this person will start posting it soon. But, you know, they feel guilty for cheating on you. For some of you guys, they, they were trying trying not to hurt anybody. Quotation marks because I, I don't I don't know how that one they're walking, okay? They was trying, but it wasn't. But, I, it, you know, it's a love triangle. So, it's one of those things where it's a sticky-ass situation. It's a sticky situation, okay? You have... Um, the way they see you, okay... Is insane they see you as this person who you have a talent for relationships I know that sounds crazy as hell but you have you know maybe you are very nurturing in a relationship maybe you knew how to help this person take care of their kids maybe you knew things that they didn't know you know what I mean and you help them they see you as someone who can turn your pain into power because one thing, one story I am getting is that, um, say for instance, this person put you through a lot of pain, they put you through a lot, and you know, you still got up and did what you had to do. You still got up and was like, you know, the world's not ending, and I, I still have to be on my grind. I still have to keep going, and that's something that they respect, okay? That is what's actually drawing this person back to you, the fact that you have this ability to really step outside of your comfort zone, regardless of what's going on, and it you still make it happen because i do see a shaman like energy and it's telling me that you could tap into different things in a powerful way so you know whatever that is whatever if it's your craft if it's love if it's you know being crafted in relationships whatever it is maybe some of you guys are counselors you work with other people okay but this is saying that you know you have that energy you have that powerful energy they see you as this person that right now you have two two different paths to take because they're looking at you and for some of you guys they might be saying that you're you know finally choosing yourself and stepping outside of your comfort zone and building things and building businesses and building who you are okay and despite them not being in your life for some of you guys this person could have been a narcissist and they're like oh you know what if i leave this person they're gonna be on the ass without me and you know you was you were like no I'm, I'm gonna be good for some of you guys you might have kids with this person this could be your ex you know what i mean that um you have kids and you probably have to break up with them because it was a third party situation you know take it as it resonates but i do see where this person sees you as their dream come true and they fumbled the ball okay so um again the way you see this person 
I'm saying again, like I already said that part. The way you see, the way you saw this person, you saw them as your their your ten of cups. I feel like there's a part in you that you still do see this person as your ten of cups because you truly did love this person. You truly did give a lot to this connection, and you thought that this was you know the end all be all. You thought that this was what was gonna bring you the fruits. You know, the happy life, the happy home, we get a job, you get a job, we 50-50, what, however, you know, whatever you consider that. And I feel like you were like, this is it. For a moment in time, you were like, this is it. This is what I want. That's my person, okay? And then that soon turned into kind of like the devil outlook. This person might have had a lot of addictions, you know, different things that they didn't tell you about. They could have had a lot of... um obsessions always cheating you know sexual demons attachment um i do see a lot of secrecy too and this person could have given a lot to temptation you know what i'm saying not just you and a love triangle but temptation outside of that which is a really messed up fucked up thing let's be honest okay and i feel like there came a point in time where you you really did find out about this and the crazy thing is you know with seeing the love potions all over this deck it's kind of like the interference was coming because somebody was working a lot of be with me you know i choose me pick me ass motherfucking bitch sorry to say it that way but you know it, it gives me that energy too so the x of the x kind of like there's a lot of people in this situation and for some of you guys this person is going through some sort of a financial hardship some sort of a loss for um another set of you guys this person is constantly worried like who are you with are you with somebody else what you doing out here in these streets like they looking and seeing if that's your car you know like is that so and so car color like did, did you see that blue street was she at the corner store? Was he at the corner store? Like some shit like that, okay? But they're they're struggling because they're not they weren't changing out of some sort of a cycle here, okay? They was and if they did, they changed more into um you know, kind of karmic -y. They changed more down before they started to really act. they hit rock bottom before they started to go back up. And I feel like it's kind of just this steady ass and it's because they're reaping what they sow they're reaping what they put out and i feel like this person they need to rest and rejuvenate because you're right now gaining financially you're probably gaining and there's finances coming to you and this person senses it but another thing i am seeing is this is a spiritual union for some of you guys this spiritual union was here to teach you lessons about moving on to a higher level of a soulmate okay or call it in your twin flame so even though it was not the spiritual union exactly that you was looking for it was one more so that either one of y'all actually really needed okay spiritual relationships are here to test you they're here to see how bad you really want to grow the spirit is asking how how teachable are you are, are you teachable okay and um the problem the biggest problem I do see is this person saw you as a challenge your energy was so strong this person might have seen you very intimidated that like this person is very intimidating you know I know I can't get away with so so and so with this person because they just don't know they know when I'm on some bullshit and you chose to love yourself they see that as a challenge too you choosing yourself and choosing to walk away they feel like that's disrespectful for not sitting there and going through it with them and a lot of you guys are really beautiful because we have the card of beauty here so you carry the energy of beauty you carry the energy maybe you carry a lot of Aphrodite energy again this person is just realizing okay my wish come true is walking out the door Why didn't I put in the work to do this? Change was the problem. For some of you guys, this person was too afraid to change lifestyles. Maybe they was too afraid to take the leap of faith. Maybe you guys, you know, needed to move in together and, you know, that scared them. There's a lot of things going on here. For some of you guys, this person could have been an official person, somebody that worked in the government field, but then they had a lot of false people around them also. And this also shows that for some of you guys, this person might be imprisoned or is already in prison or just released out of prison because I get clock. Need time takes time, cycles to heal and progress. So I feel right now that you are tired and sick and tired of the cycle, even though this was your 10 of cups. 
for some of you guys i you know it's it's kind of like a 50 50 here for some of you guys you might end up with this person and for some of y'all it's like it's too late what the fuck am i waiting for okay so it really just depends and then it's saying that somebody will call and express how they feel to you so this energy is coming within three weeks or one week this person is already on their way to you okay this person wants you to know that your love is hot give me all you got <laughs> okay <laughs> i'm sorry um look into my eyes there's a light of love inside of me and some of you guys they just feel like are we are we at the point of no return and they're gonna come back to ask you like hey how do you really feel about this like can we give this another try you know like how is this gonna work for some of you guys you're in breakup you're done and then love potion for some of you guys you know they have a lot of sexual attraction towards you maybe they feel like maybe this person put a love spell on me you know but it's just it's, it's just energy but you see as soon as you really clear this person out your energy you will have a a new beginning when this person is completely cleared out of your energy or unless, unless you stay with them and that's not what you want okay because you know what we want wants us what we're seeking seeks us um if you don't want a new beginning with this person you know that's when you're new and you get finally get this person's essence and everything off of you that is when you know your new beginning will really start okay but the healing has to take place first we all know that the healing has to take place okay for some of you guys um this person right now they're having an emotional upheaval they're really going through it they're going hit an obstacle after obstacle because they didn't realize that this was a divine union and a test within itself they didn't understand that that the, this was a divine testing them okay like what do you really want for some of you guys this person might have prayed for somebody like you and then you know you they finally got you and it's kind of like he was praying for me what happened you know what i mean but they're really attracted to you and i feel like they're borderline obsessed with you so i <laughs> you know this is you guys' uh story um take what resonates leave the rest Alrighty, you guys thank you so much for tuning in with me um you guys don't forget to check out your um horoscopes they're up on the website if you want to see how this um solar eclipse is going to affect you that is for april um horoscopes those are up and maze are already up okay if ain't nobody told you they love you today i love you guys um do not forget to comment like share and subscribe if you resonated with this reading there are a million more readings on the channel you can go ahead and flick through see if those resonate with you too bye Hey, my beautiful pile number threes. This is your guys' reading. If you picked the messenger of the messages, messages of the heart, oracle, and the heart, I had to turn it upside down, you guys, because it wasn't gonna stay otherwise. All right. If you notice, I did do the shuffling before, so that is what is before this video, this part of the video. It is the shuffling for you guys' stuff, um, for you guys' reading. But um, I did that because truthfully shuffling takes forever and it is very time consuming in a reading so i was like i'm gonna try something new i'm gonna shuffle before let you guys see it and then you know go from there all right pile number three so i am getting a lot of energy and i'm getting a lot of energy i get sexual tension i get um i I feel like you, whoever this pile is about, the both of you guys have a hard time resisting each other. That's what I really want to say, resisting each other. Um, but I do see here where there was some sort of a hiccup, okay, within this relationship. Because the both of you guys love each other. Another thing that jumps out to me is where 
um you guys either both make a good bit of money or you know one person here makes a significant um amount more um financially than the other person okay um so let's get into it the first thing you have is on a pedestal you're the you know queen of this person's heart they view you as that um they see that you know you're fiercely guarded so in the past you might have walked into this relationship with things you know that you you know built a certain boundary around where you just don't can't cross that line you know i see where you are just guarded when it comes to certain things like there's just big things that you just don't let pass you there's just things that you don't fuck with like you know it's kind of like one of those energies where you're just fierce about what you believe in in general okay and um this is a quality that they like but it also kind of makes them fear you just a tiny bit i feel like they're kind of afraid of what you can do to them i i don't know why that's coming to mind but it is okay for some of you guys you might be in solitude right now from each other so from this person because something happened i feel like something has happened okay so um but i do get where you guys whoever this is you you guys love each other there's a lot of love here and then another thing that it's saying is that you have an a, a pretty much an insatiable thirst so when this person looks at you it's kind of like y'all just your soul call to my soul i don't know how else to say that like your soul call to my soul like your soul is calling me okay and it's one of those things where i feel like you guys are old souls but old souls together so you guys might have done this lifetime after lifetime this is somebody that you love lifetimes over I and mean, you know vice versa this is how they feel about you and it's hard to resist you it's hard to resist this connection this person feels a pull like a magnetic pull to you okay and the, uh, the other thing is if you guys have not been in any contact it is because they do genuinely want to come back to you with the, a good excuse and i'm not meaning like excuse excuse but what they say to you they they mean it you know what i'm saying like the way things ended might not have been how this person wanted to leave you or uh, you know leave things off on that note for some of you guys they're saying that they are going to message you they want to message you they're going to explain everything to you because you have message here but they know they have to do right by you so that's why this person is kind of taking their time waiting you know like i, I gotta come up with, it's kind of like they gotta come up with the right story they gotta make sure you know all their ducks in a row you know things line up before they message you because they know they can't message you on no bullshit okay again you coming with that energy all right another thing is you guys there's a lot of passion like a lot of passion within this relationship okay and sexual desire so this isn't one of those things where you know you guys don't love each other or one you know is a stalemate because i see a lot of fire here i see a lot of fire a lot of air a lot of earth energy capricorn energy um aries energy leo energy sagittarius energy i see um i don't really see too much water other than you know little emotional things cancer pisces you know um because i do see the intuition here also but i am getting more so of this sexual tension this passion energy where you guys ignite each other okay and it makes it hard for them to resist you at the end of the day that's why they know you know I have to understand lust love over lust is kind of what i'm getting and this person might have had other options to where they didn't understand the quality of a quantity type shit, and that was a lesson they had to learn okay um the nine of pentacles the way they see you is somebody who's very wealthy somebody who bask in freedom so you might be a very you know free-spirited person you might be hard to tie down and you know one thing i am getting is because they see you in this heartbreak like there's some sort of emotional pain breakup that went through went went on there's betrayal that happened and they can see that you're suffering but they also see that in some sort of a way that it's kind of freeing you you know freeing you from something and freeing them from something so this can be something that you two are working on um you know in another dimension because we have dimensional travel here also 
so in the spirit world you guys could be working this out to figure it out to bring you guys back to each other okay you know spirit guides ancestors angels they work that way they work in the other realms to help you out in this realm when you call on them so i feel like you know very heavily this person has you know asked his angels his guides whoever it is for help you know because i'm this is my spiritual partner this is the person that ignites me this is the person that puts the flame in my body why would i not want that okay but i do see here where there was some sort of betrayal that did throw this off track a bit a betrayal with temptation and for some of you guys you know it was kind of like i'm not gonna take this so you took left field where it was kind of like i have to heal from this i have to go into solitude because there is solitude here and you're you're in the process of letting go of this pain and letting go of this hurt for some of you guys you might be letting go of this relationship so it can kind of you know the laws of the universe can kind of just work in its way and bring this person back to you when it's time okay you know but they do see you as someone who is very intense very hypnotic again and i do see here where you are a dimensional traveler so you're able to open gateways to other realms outside of this dimension okay for some of you guys the both of you might have been working on this on truthfully a spiritual level because i do see where this is a soulmate type of relationship where you guys kind of do things hand in hand so it's kind of hurting you and this person right now that you don't have kind of like your partner in crime is what i'm feeling and I do see where you guys need to have, you know, there's going to be slow progress, but patience, okay? Healing. Things you guys need to really work hard at this. I feel like um, if this person really wants this, they're going to work hard at it. They're going to let you know, like, you know, this is what I want. This is how I want to fix this. How do we go about it? Um, and it's going to take time and it's going to take patience. But I do see where you guys want to get there because you have an ending and a rebirth. You guys are transforming this. You're changing. There's a new beginning after a loss and an end of a cycle, okay? This person had to lose the side of themselves that was not favorable to the new level of relationship that they were wanting. So again they had to lose wanting temptation and moving on from that sort of energy you know constantly diving into temptation and kind of putting their feet in their hands and they hold body parts where they don't belong okay so a lot of you guys too what i am seeing is this person could have old money or you could have old money i do see here where that might be some sort of a problem because somebody outside external to this wants to make sure that someone isn't taking taking advantage advantage of somebody else because of some sort of money situation that is very specific so i'm not too sure you know where that fits but i do see where there might be like an older woman a grandparent or somebody higher up in the family that's kind of like you know make sure you're marrying the right person you want to get with the right person type energy okay because a marriage card is here and that's exactly why i'm saying you know i see where this is gonna come back around and you guys are really going to work it out because the both of you guys want it. For some of you guys, this person might feel in, um, imprisoned by the lifestyle that they live or the lifestyle that they had to maintain. For instance, maybe this person had to show face a lot. This person had to, you know, act like a different way around people at work, a different way around their family, you know, you know, appeasing different people. And that is coming to an end because they, it made them feel in prison. They, they couldn't be exactly who they wanted to be. They couldn't express themselves the way they wanted to express themselves. For some of you guys, this went on for so long that, you know, that's why they grew up the way they grew up. Maybe they weren't able to express themselves to you and how they truly felt about you. And that was an issue. OK, but it is showing where a lot of generational things and karma is really playing itself out in this lifetime. So where you guys are really going to take it serious and say, let's be together. Let's do this together and get rid of all of the things that aren't serving us. Like, it's time for us to be the couple that breaks all the generational ties and curses from our families. Okay, for some of you guys, there could this could have been something where somebody put a curse on you guys' relationship in the lifetime before. And now coming into this lifetime, you guys are like, okay, you know, I see boom, boom, boom. I see this, this, and this, and we're going to fix this, this, and this. And you guys are coming around and you're like, you know, you used to do this a certain way. Let's go ahead, work it out together, and we'll do it a different way. So there's a lot of ways that this can go, okay? But I do see a lot of wealth, a lot of abundance. There's a lot of things in this relationship that can be nourished and grew like grown into something awesome something that can really flourish for generations okay another thing that i am seeing is if somebody was a runner and chaser expect the roles to flip now okay 
because there's new beginnings. This person is going to come after what they want because they see you as well. They see you as the nine of coins. Sexually, they see you as the nine of coins. And the crazy part about this card to me is it feels more so of not just the financial gain, but more like you are abundant, like you're wealthy from the inside out, okay? And then for the others of you, it is just the fact that, you know, they're either marrying into wealth or you are, and people want to have precautions set in place, however the fuck that is, you know, when it comes to marrying into wealth. Um... For some of you guys, this person is saying that you actually gave them a purpose and made them believe all over again. If this person did not believe or they were different before they met you and as soon as they met you, you know, you kind of put the twinkle in their eye because that's what I'm getting. You made them believe like, you know, this is it. You made them feel that. Okay. For some of you guys, they're saying the truth is not too far behind. They are bringing the truth to you. And I, you know, a lot of what I'm seeing is I'm sorry. They keep saying, you know, like, they're sorry, they're sorry. Um, I wish there was something I could say or do. So for some of you guys, you might not be taking any excuses they're giving off right now. You know, maybe <laughs> you're not even picking up the phone. But this person is coming with the apology. For some of you guys, this person writes poetry or you write poetry or they're going to try to send you some sort of poem. They're going to expand, um the way they were thinking so you remember how i was saying before they could have you know tried to please their parents please this please that please everybody but where it was supposed to be pleasing that is going to come to an end the people pleasing is going to come to an end the friend pleasing is going to come to an end you're really going to see a lot of things changing okay and there for some of you guys this person could have been really struggling on creating their own destiny before they met you Okay, because that goes back to having all of these generational curses and things like that. Maybe they were stuck under their, their parents' money, you know, living off of their parents' money. So they had to do what their parents said. Things like that. That is a real thing. Um, but they were struggling with finding their own path, finding their own destiny until they met you. And that's kind of what rewrote it. It rewrote their destiny. It's changing everything now. Um, another thing that I am seeing is where they're, they're coming out of that indecisive and unrealistic energy and they're really tapping into a lot of grounding here for some of you guys this person could have been dealing with somebody that was constantly up I don't know why I'm getting clout chaser for some reason but there was some sort of delays because of a Sagittarius again fire energy because I do feel a lot of fire energy and then there's another thing where it's kind of like um we have taurus here too where they're yeah best friend there was a lot of best like you know friend energy and like a you know fake friends like the friends that are in your ear telling you what you should have could have would have did or do this before you do that you know type of energy so i get that a lot so i'm seeing where this person is coming out of people pleasing to more so let me please my partner let me please my soulmate let me please my person okay and whatever it is that did happen with this temptation they are going to send you a message here soon to let you know exactly what happened whatever it was whatever misunderstanding whatever is going on they are ready to clear this up but they just know that they have to come correct when they come to you okay Alrighty, you guys, thank you so much for tuning in with me. Um, do not forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe. And go check out your horoscope on my website, you guys. If you want to know how this eclipse is going to be affecting you, April's are up and May's, are, uh, May's um, horoscopes are up, okay? So check that out. Tune in to any other readings. Maybe those might resonate. If not, I'm just so grateful that you guys were here and tuned in with me, okay? If ain't nobody told you they love you today, I love you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Till next time. Bye.